Introduction to the Pulse Heat Unit Pulse Heat Unit is intended to solder electric components. Soldering is also called reflow soldering. It consists of a reflow head which holds down the object and applies pressure force and the pulse heat power supply which applies the current. What is pulse heating? How is the soldering achieved? Pulse heating is an instantaneous heating method. A method contrary to the pulse heating is the constant heating. A typical application of constant heating is the soldering iron. The soldering iron is always heated even when it is not melting the solder or when it is not touching the object. On the other hand, in the case of pulse heating, which is an instantaneous heating method, it is heated only when melting the solder. Next, how does the pulse heat achieve soldering? For soldering, a heat to melt the solder and a pressure force to hold down the object are required. First, resistance heat generation is utilized for heat. Resistance is a reverse force generated against the force trying to move forward. It generates a heat similar to the friction heat when a brake is applied. Similarly, when an electric current tries to move forward through the metal, a heat is generated because of the resistance by the metal itself. Pulse heating also utilizes this phenomenon. Electric current is applied to the iron to generate heat by resistance and the solder is melted. When the solder has melted, the current will be stopped and the solder is cooled. And when the solder is hardened, the heater tip is raised. In pulse heating, the soldering iron is called heater tip or heater tool. What does a reflow head do? The reflow head holds down the object to be joined and applies a pressure force. The section which holds down the object to be joined and generates resistance heat is called heater tip or heater tool. The size and shape of heater tip or heater tool are selected depending on the object to be joined. In some cases, the heater tip or the heater tool is fabricated to unique shape to match the object. Molybdenum or titanium is used as the material for the heater tip or the heater tool because the solder does not stick to the tool and it is easy to generate heat due to their high resistance value. The pressure force is applied. The head is structured in a way to enable pressure force change. An adjustment is made for the pressure force most suitable to the object to be joined. What does a pulse heat power supply do? The pulse heat power supply applies electric current to the heater tip. There are three types of power supply. General purpose type, large capacity type, and precision type. Features of Pulse Heating Method Because the control is made by feeding back the temperature by a thermocouple, it is superior in accuracy and reproducibility. Therefore, it is strong against environmental change or chronological change and operator skill is not required. Heat impact is reduced and it contributes to energy savings because of instantaneous and local heating. Highly reliable joining quality without lifting of the joint section is obtained because cooling takes place while the object is still under pressure. It is superior in versatility and productivity based on its flexible temperature profiling function. This completes the introduction to pulse heating.
Introduction to Pulse Heat Technology. Pulse Heating's hallmark feature is its high reliability and stable welding. A good example is the assembly of mobile phones. A coaxial cable example. Soldering is achieved by heating the ground bar simultaneously from top to bottom. An example of camera modules. A module and an FPC are soldered together by heating from the rear surface. An example of LCD module. In LCD assembly lines, pulse heat technology is being used in multiple processes. Introducing more examples in further detail. A panel and a tab are micro-joined together via an ACF. An ACF is thermocompressed onto an LCD panel. Thermography provides a vehicle to see if the wide joining area is being heated and cooled uniformly. Furthermore, tab is thermocompressed to complete the module assembly process. While control of temperature, time and pressure is important in thermocompression bonding, the pulse heat unit from Avio is superior in all these aspects, providing highly reliable bonding. This is a process to solder modules onto glass epoxy base PWB. Pulse heat method is most suitable for soldering flexible substrate, such as the flexible circuit, without lifting at the joining section. Introducing a machine dedicated to thermocompression bonding onto LCD panel or touch panel. An accurate positioning function using a camera, monitor and adjustment unit with high mechanical rigidity contribute to the improvement of productivity and quality. This is an example of CSP. The defective CSP is removed from the PWB. A rectangular heater tip is applied on the top surface of the CSP to melt the solder bumps underneath the CSP. The heater tip is raised during heating and the CSP is removed from the PWB while the solder is melting. The technology to heat a wide area uniformly within a short period of time is important. This is an example of coil parts. Pulse heat is used for termination of coils for motor, acoustic component, sensor, etc. Because the coil wire is insulated, the heater tip is heated instantaneously to a high temperature which melts and removes the insulation. After that, the solder on the terminal is adequately melted. While maintaining a certain temperature level and the joining state, as shown on the magnified photo, is realized. We are proposing a laser method as well. Based on the characteristics of non-contact and high energy density, our product is uniquely suited for difficult shapes or to reduce heat impact. This is an example of bus bar and string ribbon of a solar cell. Pulse heat method helps to remove internal voids, resulting in strong joints. This is an example of soldering of bus bar. Thermography provides a vehicle to see the temperature profile of the heater tip. Uniform heating is achieved during a short period of time and cooling is accomplished while pressurized. This is an example of pulse heat fusing on plastic component. The heater tip is pressed against the plastic then pressurized and heated. Because of cooling while pressurized, High-tolerant shapes can be achieved without cobwebbing. There is a need for this method as a replacement of screws. This is an example of pulse heat fusing on camera lens. Thermography provides a vehicle to see that the periphery of a circle is uniformly heated. This method effectively replaces adhesive. 